Welcome back to Explaining Everything, the channel where we answer the questions you didn't even know you had, but now absolutely need answered. Today's question comes from one of our clean plate loving viewers, Emma Clint 66. Thanks for the suggestion, Emma. You asked, how does a dishwasher work? If you've ever loaded one up, pressed a button, and magically pulled out sparkling clean plates like some kind of kitchen wizard, you might have thought, seriously, what's happening in there? Because let's be real, most of us just slam the door shut and hope for the best. Well, buckle up, because today we're cracking open the steamy, splashy, surprisingly high-tech world of dishwashers without actually getting ourselves soaked. Right here, on explaining everything. A dishwasher might look like a glorified cupboard, but the inside is basically a tiny car wash for your forks. When you close the door and hit start, you're triggering a choreographed dance of water, heat, soap, and spinny things, yes, that's the technical term. At its core, a dishwasher has three jobs. Spray hot water all over your dirty dishes. Scrub them without human hands lifting a sponge. Dry them so you're not towel drying each plate like it's royalty. And it does all this while you sit on the couch pretending to oversee operations. When you start a cycle, the dishwasher doesn't just immediately blast water like a fire hydrant. First, it fills a shallow basin at the bottom with water. Just a few liters, not a whole swimming pool's worth. That water is then heated, usually to about 120 to 160 degrees Fahrenheit, or 49 to 71 degrees Celsius because warm water cleans better than cold. And it's less shocking for the dishes, because apparently we're being polite to plates now. Then a pump sends that hot water shooting into rotating spray arms. Those spin because of the force of the water, spraying jets in every direction, like a miniature water park. If the water park was designed exclusively for mugs, bowls, and one suspiciously sticky spoon. About a few minutes in, the machine opens a little compartment like a magician revealing a trick, and bam, the detergent drops in. This could be powder, liquid, or those little pods that look dangerously like candy. Dishwasher detergent isn't just soap. It's a science experiment in a box. It contains surfactants to break up grease and grime, enzymes to eat away at stuck-on food like microscopic Pac-Men, anti-foaming agents because too many bubbles would turn your dishwasher into an episode of I Love Lucy. The detergent mixes with the water, creating a cleaning solution that attacks every spaghetti stain and burnt lasagna fossil. After the main wash, the dishwasher drains the dirty water out like it's taking out the trash. Then, fresh hot water sprays in again to rinse off any leftover soap and bits of mystery dinner. Some dishwashers perform multiple rinses, much like the just-to-be-safe shampoo people. If you have a fancier model, it might even feature a built-in water softener to prevent those cloudy spots on your glasses. That's right, your dishwasher is also a part-time chemist. Now comes the drying. Some dishwashers use superheated air, basically turning the inside into a mini sauna for your plates. Others use condensation drying, where hot dishes meet cooler air and water droplets run down the sides. This is why sometimes 
your plastic containers still come out wetter than your grandma's tea towels. In newer, eco-friendly machines, the drying process is gentler and uses less heat, so you save energy, but you might have to shake a few forks dry. Consider it a light arm workout. You'd think a machine that blasts gallons of water inside a closed box would be a flood waiting to happen. But dishwashers have rubber seals around the door, plus a system that only keeps a small amount of water at the bottom at any given time. Also, if the machine senses a leak, thanks to a float switch that detects rising water levels, it shuts off the water faster than you can yell. Grab the mop. Fun fact, the first practical dishwasher was invented in 1886 by Josephine Cochran, a wealthy socialite who got tired of servants chipping her fine china. She said, if you want something done right, you have to invent a machine to do it for you. Her version was hand-cranked and way more industrial looking. But the basic concept, hot water spraying from all angles, hasn't changed much. Let's clear up some common misconceptions. You need to pre-wash everything. Nope! That makes the detergent less effective because it needs grime to grab onto. Just scrape off the big chunks. More detergent equals cleaner dishes. Wrong! That just leaves soap residue. It's wasteful compared to hand washing. Surprisingly, dishwashers use way less water unless your idea of hand washing involves a single drop of water and a prayer. Not all dishwasher stories are squeaky clean. They've been the subject of roommate wars. You loaded it wrong. Marriage debates, forks up or forks down, and tragic Tupperware shrinkage. And of course, the universal heartbreak of opening it mid-cycle and getting a steam facial you didn't ask for. So, to sum it up, your dishwasher is part plumber, part chemist, part sauna, and part mechanical octopus. It takes in water, heats it, blasts it around with detergent, rinses like it's auditioning for a shampoo commercial, and dries, leaving you with sparkling dishes and zero pruny fingers. The next time you press that Start button, you'll know you've just launched a highly coordinated cleaning operation, one that Josephine Cochran would high-five you for. So, when your dishwasher is rumbling away, remember, inside that box is basically a miniature car wash for your plates, complete with a hot shower, spin cycle, and steamy sauna. It's not just cleaning, it's treating your dishes to the ultimate spa day, while you sit back and take all the credit. If you like this video, Hit that like button and subscribe. Also, if you have suggestions for our next video, feel free to share them in the comments below. We'll be sure to give you an acknowledgement for your contribution. Thank you for tuning in and join us next time here in the channel that answers all the why, what, who, where and how questions you've always wondered about here on Explaining everything.